Hi everybody, Johnny here. Let's make a game together. For this game we'll need a sheet of paper, something to draw with, some playing pieces and dice, and what else do we need? Oh, we'll need a bear. So let's build our game board. What we want to do to start with is draw a line about halfway across all the way across, as straight as you can, like that. Now above this line we want to have a rectangle. So I'm going to draw a rectangle that goes up like this, pretty good size, all the way across, and then about to the same place on the other side, like this. Now I want to draw another shape, kind of like a trapezoid, comes down like this, on either side with an angle line like that, and then a straight line all the way across joining it like this. And then I want to make a, an arc that goes about like that. Now what I want to do is draw another rectangle on the inside of this one and parallel lines all the way across like this and then coming down like that and then what I want to do is I want to draw an angle that comes in like this from either side another trapezoid all the way across like that and then I want to draw another trapezoid down here like this and now what I want to do is I want to join these Maybe a couple parallel lines like this. And now I want to use some parallel lines all the way across. Like this. And maybe some across like this. And then maybe some more. Maybe I want to have a couple parallel lines like this. And more coming across like that and over here as well and some lines pointing towards the middle like that and then maybe some across the top too and some parallel lines again that looks good now I think I need to circle down here a good size circle. Try to make it as round as you can. You might trace something to make a circle. And then in the middle of this circle, I want to put a pentagon. And then what I want to do is join more shapes to this shape. Kind of like this. I think it would also be good to darken this in. And maybe a little ellipse down here. And we'll darken this one in too. Let's draw a few more lines. Let's start about in the middle of this, right over here. Draw a line there, and maybe almost to the top over here too. And over here, about the same, all the way across, and across the top too. Let's add some more shapes. Let's try this. About a line like that, a little triangle there, another line like this, and maybe this shape here, and then maybe another parallel line here, a little rectangle and a little square, maybe a little rectangle here, and another little rectangle there, and then maybe we take this line down, another rectangle, another rectangle, and another parallel line. Let's do the same over here. 
straight down line, little triangle, straight down line, interesting shape like that, and then maybe a little square, a line coming all the way down, a little rectangle, little rectangle here, maybe this shape here, straight line all the way down, a couple rectangles like that, a straight line coming down, Let's add something more here. Let's go ahead and make a line all the way above these others, parallel to the others like this. And then let's go ahead and put some lines like this. Maybe equidistant lines. You decide how many you want to have up there. Let's go ahead and put some arcs on them, on the top. All the way across, like this. Maybe make that one a bit better. Let's add something more. Maybe a few more of these, too. Maybe back here. And over here. You decide what you want to have in the back. And now down here, we need to do one more thing. Let's go ahead and put team one and team two. And beside this, we need to have the numbers one, two, three, four, and five. And over here, we need to give our game a name. And this name, this game is called Shootout. So let's go ahead and play our game. In this game, Raul will be playing against Zia. So Zia and Raul are in a shootout, soccer shootout, a football shootout. They're each going to take turns kicking the ball to the goal. And each turn, one will be the kicker, and the other one will be the goalie. And they'll trade, trying to be the first to get to the most goals within five turns. And there'll be extra turns if it turns out to be a tie. Let's try it out. These dice will be for Raul, and these dice will be for Zia. And Zia is going to kick first. She takes her dice here. And Raul's going to be the goalie. If you don't have enough dice, you can roll one dice or two dice more than once. But there should be three numbers for the kicker and three numbers for the goalie. Zia kicks first. Zia is trying to make a number from these three dice using one, two, or all three dice, adding, subtracting, or multiplying. That will be a hard number for Raul to make with his roll. So Zia looks at these numbers. And Zia likes the number 25. 2 times 3 is 5. 5 times 5 is 25. That sounds like a pretty tough number. Raul's going to have to have a good roll to block that shot. Raul rolls and has these numbers. Raul looks and says, well, I've got 5 and 4. 5 times 4 is 20, and 3 more make 23. But 23 is not 25, and so Zia's shot just barely gets in. So Zia gets to put a marker here. She has one point so far out of the five rounds. Now we're going to trade. Now Zia is going to be the goalie, and Raul is going to kick. And Raul rolls the dice. 
two, four, and six. What good number might Raoul make that's a good kick? Raoul adds, decides to add these two. Two plus four is six, and add six more to make twelve. Twelve is Raoul's shot against Zia. Zia rolls. Can Zia block that shot? Well, Zia's looking at the numbers. Five times two is ten, and one more is eleven, but it's not twelve. So Raoul's shot also barely gets in there, but it does. So in the first round, both Raoul and Zia have scored. Let's trade again. This time Raoul's the goalie, and Zia's going to shoot, and we're in the second round right now. Zia rolls. She rolls a 5, a 1, and a 1. And she decides to make it 5 times 1 is 5, plus 1 more is 6. So 6 is going to be her shot on goal. Raoul rolls. And Raoul rolls 4, 4, and 3. And decides to make 4 times 3 is 12. 12 minus 4 is 8, but that's not quite the same thing as a 6. So Zia is going to score on this turn as well. It's now Raoul's turn to be the kicker, and Zia will be the goalie. Raoul rolls the dice. 5, 5, and 3. Oh, Raoul has a wicked shot. 5 plus 5 is 10, and 3 is 13. Is there any way that Zia is going to be able to block a 13 shot? So Zia rolls. And Zia sees, this is going to be tough. A 13 is tough, but 5 times 3 is, four, is, thir, is 15. Minus 1 is 14. So 14 versus 13. Again, a close shot. But Raul is going to score. After two rounds, it's a tie game. This time, Zia is going to shoot, and Raul is going to block. And Zia rolls a 3, a 1, and a 1. She decides to add them together. Five, 3 plus 1 is 4, and 4 and 1 more is 5. Raul is going to have to block a 5 with the 3 dice, using any combination of the dice. Well, look at that. There's a 2, a 4, and a 5. Raul uses just the 5 and blocks Zia's shot. So Zia will get no score here on the third round. And this time, Raul's going to take a shot in the third round, and Zia's going to try to block. Raul rolls a 5, a 5, and a 1. Raul decides to try to make a difficult number. 5 and 5 is 10, minus 1 more is 9. So Raul is making a shot of 9. Can Zia block a 9 with her roll? Well, at first it looks like 5 times 2 is 10. And what do we do with this 1? 5 times 2 is 10, minus 1, and guess what? Zia has blocked Raul's shot. So in the third round, Raul blocked Zia's shot, and Zia blocked Raul's shot. We'll do one more round together. This time, Raul's going to be the goalie, and Zia's going to make the shot. We're on the fourth round right now. Remember, whoever has the most points by the fifth round wins. And if it's tied, you have to keep going to see who gets the next first winner. So Zia makes her shot. A six, a six, and a two. She decides to do 6 times 6 is 36, minus 2 is 34. Oh, that's a wicked number. So Raul is going to have to block the number 34. Can he do it? What do you think? Looks like Raul missed this one by a mar large margin. Zia made a fantastic shot, and Raul isn't even close. There's no way to make 34 with these numbers. So Zia is going to score in the fourth round. And we trade. Zia is going to block. She's the goalie. Raul's rolling to make the shot. And Raul decides two times four is eight, and one more is nine. 
So Raoul's shot is a 9. Can Zia block a 9? 9 looks like a good shot. What can Zia do? 6 plus 5 is 11. Minus 1 is 10. 10 isn't quite enough, and Raoul makes a score. Zia and Raoul keep playing to see what happens in the fifth round and rounds beyond if they're tied, trying to block each other's shots or trying to come up with a great number that makes the perfect shot. This is the game Shootout, and for this game, you need to have a piece of paper, something to write with, some playing pieces, some dice, a friend to play with, and uh, what else? Oh. You'll need a bear. Do enjoy this game.